Okay, insight 108. Usually after sexual satisfaction, your mind is released from desire momentarily and returns to its sober state. While in the sober state, ask yourself, is this, the sexual act, what you really wanted? Was the circumstances what you really wanted? At times you might respond yes, and at other times you might say no. What, uh, what is, uh, was it the truest way you, exp you could express yourself? So, <coughs> many times people fall into sexual pleasure, including self-pleasure. <coughs> Meaning, by this I mean, um, for so, so many people, the sexual self-pleasuring or sexual act of any sort or engaging in any kind of uh, sexual um, activity or going after sex or anything related to it takes a lot of peop uh, 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 takes a lot of time, takes a lot of people's time, and so their hobbies, their so many things of their lives have been um, uh, they've been. Um, uh, neglected, have been neglected because they're focused on this stuff, they're going after this. And so that's what I'm asking. I'm saying when you're sober, right after the sexual satisfaction, ask yourself, is this what you really wanted or is there, was there something else you wanted? To, you know, uh, you wanted to do something else maybe? Uh, are all the circumstances involving the sexual interaction just exactly what you wanted. Was the setting right? Was the place right? Was, the, was this your mood right? Your mental state right? Your emotional state right? What was missing, if, if, if anything? Uh, did you really want it, wanted to have this? A small example of that is that, let's say you're hungry and you want to go somewhere to eat, and you make a decision. You want to go, let's say, to that restaurant, but you go, no, I like, I want to eat this kind of food. That restaurant has it, but I don't like the type of people that that restaurant has in it, so I don't, I don't go there and eat. I want to eat that kind of sandwich, uh, and I want to go here, but uh, to have it to, this restaurant is good, but the restaurant is too far away. See, so even for the simplest thing of you want to eat, um, you make sure that everything is right so that you can really sit down and really enjoy your food. You know, uh, so many things involved. And the place that you're sitting and eating, uh, the atmosphere, right, and, and the food itself, and the time, uh, all these things uh, you set. In sexual activity, um, self-pleasuring or going after sex, um, usually when, it's, um, when we're pressured to do so, we, we miss so many things elements of, uh, of our, our, uh, that is to our liking. Even our own mindset, emotional set, so many things. Just to have that overwhelming pleasure that is bugging the hell out of us, you know. So it's good for you to notice what elements we're actually missing. That we went ahead with a sexual pleasure anyway. Self-pleasuring or meeting somebody, whatever it is. Uh, but what elements were missing? What, what, what didn't feel right? Acknowledge that, you know. I didn't like having, for example, I didn't really want to have sex now or sex pleasure now. I wanted to do something else, you know, you know, or, uh, watch a television show or work on a program, whatever it is, you know. Anyway, 